It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger What's up Active Fam? So it is about 9 o'clock in the morning and we're literally just about to start out on our workout. So we're going to be doing a back session and we're going to probably superset everything because that's just how we do. I'm going to be training with Claire so I'm going to show you male versus female variations. Some exercises. We're just doing um, the lat pull down with the rope row and this week I've decided to put the rope a little bit lower than usual so I normally have it at about hip height and basically like when explaining that movement when I say hip height there's a lot of twisting and technicality to it so I've just basically simplified it by putting it down lower meaning that it's going to stretch through the lats easier without having to rotate the wrists and all that. So basically all we're doing is stretching forward, squeezing um, the elbows in by the ribs and then hitting that upper back trying to push some blood into here before we get moved into our compound movements. Wait, you want it lighter? Yeah. Alright. You gotta let go of the weight a bit. 35? Yes. Done. Alright, here we go. So we're starting with the lat pull down. Now, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tip. So when we're doing this, the tempo is quite slow. We're pulling it down strong, we're holding it at the bottom, and then we're releasing for about three seconds on the way up. Now when you release, if you keep your elbows underneath the bar, it's going to keep that tension right on this pocket here, on the lat where the shoulder blade is, and then also with your legs, you got to push up into the pad so that basically the tension doesn't release from this attachment site of the lower lat. So if you just have your legs loose in the pad there, you'll still get a lot of tension from this part of your back and then it'll transfer up into your arms. But if you release the bar nice and slowly, keep your leg pressed up into that pad, you're gonna feel the tension in both attachment sides, so here and up in your arm. So basically, that slow eccentric loading as your muscle lengthens is gonna be absolutely hectic. Oh, one more? Oh, damn. Oh, I got the Jordans on today as well. Fuck. 20. Let's go 15. All right. So we're superseding it with a low cable row. All right, so all we're doing here is so, like sort of squatting into it a little bit so that you get that nice deep stretch as you lean forward. If you stand up too high, you're gonna have to just round out your lower back a little bit too much. So basically, sit into it, crouch forward, and then just slowly lever forward, stretching out the lats, keeping those elbows slightly flared out as the, the cable goes forward, and then bam, pull the elbows into your sides. Make sure you keep them tucked into your hips. So pull it in nice and tight, and then squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back. Easy. Come on, you got it. I want 15 reps. Push the blood in there. Let's get it pumping. Well, another little thing is that like, when you do really slow eccentric loading, your forearms are gonna burn out a little bit quicker. So getting something like your straps is usually a good idea. Like some people say I don't use straps when you're training back because you're gonna just like get a weak grip. But we're trying to train our back muscles and it's doing a lot of time under tension. We're not really trying to make our forearms stronger. So you gotta think about the primary muscles that you train, not the secondary muscles. So in my opinion, straps are a really good tool if you wanna grow your back. Yeah? Now I'm gonna hit 15 reps on this. 
So I'm keeping my elbows flared out in order to push my shoulder blades out to the side like that, and that's going to keep the tension on my lower lat. Now, if I reach forward past here, basically I'm not going to really stretch out my lat anymore. So to get a stretch from both sides, I just push my hips backwards, and that's called a double stretch. So we're stretching the muscle from both attachment sides. Basically what you want to do when you're doing that rope row is hold on to that tension. You've got to make the muscle nice and hot by squeezing and holding, but then don't let go of it. Don't just like relax the muscle. You've got to release the weight really slowly. Because you're using a cable, it's going to be constant tension. So even though you're leaning forward, there's no release points to the range of motion. So every single bit of it, you've got to utilize that power. And then as you get to the top, you want to kind of stop thinking about pulling through your arms and think about pulling your shoulders back and retracting and then squeezing together where your rhomboids and middle traps are up the back. Push the blood in there. Uh, just a quick tutorial on how to use straps. First of all, if you're really short, you might have to stand on the lat pull down machine. <laughs> all right, now, anyway, so once you've got the strap on the right side, basically you want to strap the bar into your wrist. So you go underneath and then you wrap it around twice so that it pulls your hand. You don't want to go this way and then wrap around because it's just not gonna pull your wrist into the thing properly. So you go under, grab the handle just like you normally would, wrap it around twice, then you do it so I can get good angles, and then try not to overlap it, and then you just let that little bit hang loose, and then you just twist it like a motorbike to tighten it, and pull the wrist in nice and close to the bar, so that there's no gap. And then when, we, when we're pulling, we're gonna go thumbs over the top, which takes your forearm out of the movement, allowing you to keep your elbow straight underneath the bar as you pull, and then you can pull it more in a vertical plane like that rather than pulling backwards and using a lot of forearm. All right, so for the last set, we're gonna do a little bit of eccentric loading. So basically, I'm gonna pull the weight down and then Claire's gonna add resistance to the stack as my hands go back up, making sure that my lats basically don't turn off through the concentric phase of the movement and the eccentric phase. So that's gonna add a really good change in stimulus to the exercise. And it's just really good to add in towards the end of your, uh, your the end of your sets once you've already kind of fatigued the muscle a little bit. So we're doing the um, bent over row superset with the deadlift shrug. My favorite exercise, I say it every single back video. So after doing lat pull downs and you're doing a superset, that's basically like a nice warm up movement that you're not utilizing too much energy on. You're not swinging it about with the full stack on there and just like throwing away half your energy before you even get into the compound movements. Then once you hit this, this is where the shit happens. So basically, we're looking to just keep it nice and strict on the rows, and then as we do the deadlift shrug, I'm just going down and letting my shoulders roll forward just a little bit by keeping my lower back nice and straight, and then as I pull up, I'm shrugging from the bottom of the movement, and I like to like look up at the roof, because if you're kind of looking down and shrug, you get this weird pinching feeling on the back of your neck. So just to protect your spine, 
if you look up and you shrug, you'll get a nice tight squeeze and then you'll build a better connection with the muscles that lie just on the back of the neck there, like the top of the traps basically. So I'll show you how it's done, done, done. One, two, one, two. shin pull on the cable, superset with a cable row. So basically we're doing 10 and 10 again. We're gonna do an arm extension where we pull the weight straight down through our palms in towards the shins and then holding it and making sure that we retract our glutes and then stick the chest up in order to create that huge amount of tension on the lower lat. And you wanna hold that for about two seconds and then slowly release. You gotta hold on to that tension, yeah? Basically after you do 10 reps like that, your back will be screaming, like screaming. <laughs> and then, you do 10 cable rows to the sternum where you just stand up a little bit taller and you pull it in and keep it a little bit tighter through your shoulder blades. So it's a nasty movement anyway. I'll show you how it's done. So you have to make sure that your feet are close together so that you can pull your arms by the sides of your legs. If they're too wide, your arms will hit your legs. So lifting the chest up, pulling into the shin, holding it, retracting the glutes, arching the back, slowly release. Ah. I find that movement a little bit hard to do because it is a quite difficult movement to master. Basically, you can just do it with a rope and start off with a short amount of range. So, go from here, so not even all the way up, just from like midpoint down to your legs and pull past your legs so that you get that tension, making sure that you arch your back. You don't want to be like this. You want to make sure that you arch your back, let your arms get carried up, just grab the tension from there and then pull back down. 
Once you can find that you can engage your back from here, then you can move forward into doing a full stretch. So letting the arms come right up and then pulling straight past your legs. You gotta make sure that you pull past your legs so you don't wanna stop there because that's not quite arm extension. You gotta pull the lats past there in order to squeeze the muscle. tip that I want to give you guys is that when you're hitting these rows, if your back's starting to fatigue a little bit and you can't pull the handle all the way into your chest, don't worry about it. Just pull it as far as you can and contract your lats to wherever the, they let you because if you're going to do like 20 reps, obviously your muscles are going to fatigue a bit, but as long as you're still hitting it as much as the muscle wants to, then it's alright. If you over pull, you probably just recruit a little bit of forearm anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just think about squeezing the shoulders back as far as they can go. All right, so now we're gonna target our lower lats. So we're gonna hit a dumbbell row, superset with a cable row. So again, we're doing two supersets, and basically we're looking to just like exhaust the muscle as hard as we can with the dumbbell row. We're not looking to keep it like super strict. I just wanna kinda of almost throw the weight around a little bit. Just kinda of shock the central nervous system. Shock the central nervous system. And then basically we're gonna hit that cable, which is more of a constant tension where you're looking to hold the reps and really release slowly. So that's where it's really gonna hurt. But the dumbbell row is a little bit more aggressive. Now, in terms of variations for females, this cable row is quite hard to get and um, unless you have a lot of muscle mass on your lower lat it's hard to feel that pinching squeeze um, so girls you might not feel it so a slight variation to do this is to just set up a bench like this and then attach a cable to the low pulley and then you can just do a one arm row leaning against the bench like that. Alright so we're going to do our left arm first on the dumbbell and then left arm cable and then have about a 30 second rest just to let the heart rate drop back down a little bit and then move into doing the right arm on both of them alright so make sure that you keep your chest up right when you do a one arm row and the heel off the floor so that you keep your hips retracted too and then that way when you just reach down you'll feel that stretch on the lower lat where if your foot's flat like that you're going to end up rounding your back and pulling through your arm you don't want to do that. Keep the hips up Yeah, shut up. 
Uh, so we're supersetting with the cable row now, but so this is a variation as I was saying for females or even just anyone that doesn't really feel too much of a pinching in the way that I did it. So basically you want to set up the bench on a 45 degree angle, you want to stand with the same leg that you're pulling with, that leg has to go backwards and then you're going to reach forward letting that shoulder joint go forward, let it go forward, boom boom boom, stretch and then pull through that lower lat, keeping your wrist on a 45 degree like that. So pulling straight through to the hip, trying to squeeze this lower lat right in there. Go clear, come on. just got back from visiting my nonna at the hospital. I haven't even told you guys about what's been going on the last couple of days, but since it was on the weekend, oh, hold on. Judy La Porta. All right, so on the weekend, we had a little bit of a scare. It was on Saturday night, my nonna got rushed to the hospital and she had to get emergency operation first thing Sunday morning. So basically, she had a tumor in her large intestine, which she had to get removed because it just completely blocked it up, and meaning that no food could pass through. So at 86 years old, having a major surgery like that, getting half of your intestine removed, it's a big thing, like it's, there's a lot of risks and to be honest, like it was a really scary moment for my whole family because we thought, what if she doesn't come out of this surgery like alive, you know, like what if she doesn't come out the other end and how slow is the recovery process going to be, how is she going to cope, like she's really weak because she's been feeling sick for the, like, the last week and she hasn't really eaten any food. So Sunday morning she went into surgery but the doctor said that she was stable like 100% of the time and she actually pulled through really well and she doesn't have to get a bag or anything like that put on her. So it's been a few days now since the surgery and I've just gone to see her um, the last couple of days and today. and. She She's doing really, really good. So I just wanted to vlog about that, tell you guys what's been happening with my life outside of the gym, because I know I always vlog what we're doing in terms of our training and business. I just wanted to give you an insight to what's going on in my actual personal life. And, you know, just let you guys know that not every day is a good day for me. Like, I know I try and preach a lot of positivity on my channel, but I do go through my ups and downs, especially when moments like this happen. You know, our whole family was hit with this info and it was like, it was a big thing. But, um, yeah, anyway, I just want to say thank you to everyone that actually sent me their support messages on Snapchat the other day. So I'll just put this picture up of me holding my nonna's hand the other day, uh, yesterday, on my Snapchat. Um, she was doing really well, she's very strong, she's squeezing my hand, with like, quite a lot of strength, and I had heaps of people comment, just sending their love from the Active Fam. Just want to say thank you to everyone that messaged me. Nonna's doing good. My brother actually was combing her hair today, it was so cute. I'll just film this. You're very beautiful. Let me get it. 
So yeah, everyone's just been taking turns in um, going to see her, spend time at the hospital, and then also my nonno, he's getting pretty old, so he can't really stay home alone, so we've had to take turns in looking after him. So it's been a bit of a rotation between going to the hospital and taking care of my nonno, but everyone in the family is just chipping in their efforts, and you know, we're in high spirits about the whole situation, so yeah, feeling good now, um, considering where we're at over the weekend. So anyway, about to have a prep meal, and then I've got clients until like 9 o'clock tonight, so smashing back the meatballs and I'm gonna have one of these yogurts that I got <laughs> delivered to my gym the other day so Chibani hooked us up with a whole bunch of these new breakfast flavored they're like yogurts with uh, muesli on the side so they've got all the different new flavors and it even came with the power pack how cool is that Chibani if you want to check out these new um, little breakfast ideas that they've just released just visit their Instagram and all the infos on there so Chibani AU look at all the flavors Alright, so it is 10.49 and it's 6 degrees outside in the office editing up a video. I think the last thing that I filmed was me opening up one of these. Well, that was the first one that I had. I've had one in between that one and this one and this is now my third one for the night. Now we're onto the salted caramel. So you flip and dip, baby. Watch this. <laughs> to get my Chibani spoon out. Oh, you had the white chocolate today. No, they all got white chocolate in them. No, that one oh, doesn't. Oh, this one doesn't. The last one had it. The raspberry or something. Oh, the raspberry one, yeah, yeah. And then I had the green one, yeah. the kiwi one. Now this bad boy is oh, going Alex down. I just had a mint one. Wow, new hits here. It took about three seconds to kick in, but caramel was my favourite. I'll probably say the strawberry one's the best, but. You reckon? Yeah. The white I don't think chocolate. The white chocolate would have made it. The white chocolate in that one is unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Got nuts on that one. Right, pause it. Which one you got? Right, peanut butter dream. Ooh. Is that in a normal yogurt? Blue yeah. blue is like original. Right. Original. Yeah. This one's like actually flavoured the yogurt. This one's got all the sugars. We want the review. Let's flip this shit. Flip and dip, baby! <laughs> yes. Alright, do you stir it? Yeah, you have to. You reckon? Mix it all up. It's got to be a nice consistency. Alright, have a whirl. See the review. <laughs> That's good. Which one's better though? Which one did you have before? The mint? That one. Oh, you had this one. The macros. No, you Oh, the flavours. Yeah. Alright, so it has... Oh, it's roasted peanuts. Peanut butter, peanut butter clusters. It's smooth, that one. It's smooth. It's more original. It's got like pretzels and shit in it. That yeah. the best. If you want a treat, that's the one. Clean well, bricky, that's the one. Mm. Right, back to the editing. <laughs> so that's a wrap to today's video. So I'm going to do a post notification shout out. And today's shout out goes to someone who just made me laugh in his last comment. It goes to Ryan, who said, Eddie, making me question my sexuality on the daily. <laughs> Thank God he throws in a healthy dose of clear to remind me that I'm fully straight. So if you guys want a post notification shout out, all you gotta do is go to my channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button and then come back and comment post notifications on, then leave me a funny little comment like that and I'll shout someone out every single video. Hope you really enjoyed those variations between the guys and the girls um, in terms of the back workout. So make sure you do me a favor and click the like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer and we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out, Active Fam. Love you guys. Underwater.